City volunteers have been using sign language since 1981, when Master Chen Yin encouraged all city commissioners to learn sign language to communicate with deaf care recipients. Since then, sign language has been widely used at city events. Over the years, Tsuji has also invited deaf instructors to teach volunteers natural sign language. In today's Tsuji's 50th anniversary series report, we look at how Tsuji volunteers are able to reach out to deaf care recipients with the use of sign language, as well as recruit deaf friends to join the rank of volunteers. is part of Xu Qingfeng's life. Without sign language interpretation, we would not be able to reach his heart. Xu's relationship with Ziji actually began in 2012, when he was considered a troublemaker. Then city volunteer Jiang Longyi decided to help this family. He was not deterred by the communication barrier between them. We comprehended their meanings and gestured with our hands and feet. We gestured simple moves that he could understand. In other cases, we wrote our words down. They are really living in their own world. We are considered different from them. He was very surprised to see how we could communicate with him. He was happily surprised. How did you know this? According to Ministry of Health and Welfare, there are more than 120,000 hearing impaired people in Taiwan, making up 10.7 percent of the disabled. Tsuji began promoting sign language in 1981, when some volunteers came across a mute care recipient in Tainan. Back then, Master Jing Yin encouraged Tsuji commissioners to learn sign language. <music> understand my world. Kind words can inspire people. One who constantly looks down on others reveals his lack of moral cultivation. It is better to have a generous heart than a spacious dwelling. Do not be narrow-minded. We should broaden our thinking and forgive others. Be kind. It is important to open our minds. At this silent study group held on Tuesdays, a group of deaf friends are studying Master Jing Yin's Tingsi aphorisms. They often got into conflicts over something minor, so I told them to speak kind words and think good thoughts. Gradually, they understood. Then they also liked to apply Jing's aphorisms in their daily life. Grammatical sign language emphasizes the beauty of hand gestures, but it is not the best way to communicate with the deaf. Tsuji volunteers use grammatical sign language. Are you married? But with natural sign language, you is simply conveyed by looking at someone. It's that simple. <laughs> to break down the communication barrier, more people are learning natural sign language. Tsuji is also making adjustments, inviting deaf instructors to teach volunteers sign language. The only difference is that they cannot hear. So after learning sign language, I can join their group and understand their culture. Then able people and those who are deaf would be on equal ground. 
In the past, there were barriers because it was inconvenient to find sign language interpreters. In addition, able people are not good at body language, so I could not understand them. However, more people know sign language now, so there are less barriers. Singing vow with utmost sincerity, their friends raised their hands in prayers, following the moves of volunteers on stage. When communication barriers have been broken down, love and compassion can spread.